Okay, this is finished. Let's see. What do we get from this, man? We get 125 protein and 125 vegetables. Oh my goodness, look at that, you guys. 1.15 max health and almost one stamina. Is that the best food in the world or what? That's why the damn baking pan costs so much money. <laughs> All right, guys, we are <clears throat> under attack from Charlie, I'm guessing. Could be Charlie or Bravo. Let's go take him out before they do too much damage here. Is it just the one guy? Um, What I was actually thinking about doing was um, <clears throat> I've got a bunch of claymores. So I think I'm going to put those out here and um, have these guys blow themselves up because most likely both uh, Bra Bravo and Charlie are going to attack unless Bravo derps out down uh, at the other location. Um, uh, they're already derped out down there. Okay, good. So we didn't even have to worry about them for now. So yeah, I think I'm going to set the claymores out. It's actually the next day, so I, I, I haven't really spent any off-camera time to speak of. Uh, I did have a group of rogues that were, like, almost directly above our cave, so I went and took them out. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. Let's grab these claymores. We might as well put them to use. Um, oh, you know what, though? Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to be able to put them all the way out there. There might be a limit to how far away from the base I can put them. I guess we'll find out here in a second, won't we? Um, okay, let's put a few things away. I got some gears off of the the rogues, which was good. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. This goes here. That we're going to put in the um, thingamadoodle. Recycler. Uh, that can go there. That can go there. That can go there. And let's see here. I guess we'll put the liver in there for the moment. Split those two guys up. Let's just eat this to get it out of our inventory. I, th I thought maybe I heard footsteps. Um, I don't know if those rogues are, are still going to be around or not. Because my understanding is if you take them out, there's a chance that they'll They'll repop and come after you anyway. Uh, but I'm not really sure about that. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff to put in the mass generator. So basically all four of those items are there. I don't have anything else in here, right? So let's just do that first. Uh, so we're currently at uh, 280. We're almost at max mass here, actually. Where does that get us? Uh, we're not putting those in there. Um, let's put one of these in. 293. So we'll do one more of these. And that should get us pretty much maxed out on mass. Oh, not quite, huh? Okay, what about one of these? There we go. Okay, cool. So we got maxed out mass. We'll put the rest of these in here and we'll use them up later. All right, let's go outside. And uh, again, I'm not sure if there's a maximum distance away from the base these can be placed. I can put them outside of the walls. That would be fantastic. But I don't know if we'll be able to. In fact, you know what we can do? Let's just do this right now. So if we go here. Oh, yeah, I don't see the, the bubble thing, so... I'm assuming we can probably put these out here. Yeah, we can. Okay, nice. So, I don't think these will blow me up. Um, Boy, I hope not. Pretty sure they don't blow me up. I think they just blow up the enemy. Um, Let's test it. We're good. <laughs> Oh man, that was a little, little frightening, but I had to know, right? Um, okay, we'll put one, say, right up here, and then we'll put one over on this side too. 
Maybe you're right there. Okay, nice. And those are all compliments of the hunters, by the way. I didn't, uh, I didn't make any of those. I just took them from them. Um, I don't think we really have any damage out here. I, I caught that guy before he really started messing with stuff, so we're good. There might be a little splash damage here and there, but we're not too worried about it. And yeah, we're just going to let Bravo be stupid down there. Not worry about them until they finally decide to stop being stupid. And then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, very good. Um, Where are we at here? Let's get that stuff put away. And that goes down there. These extra picks we can put in here for now. Actually, let's um use this one up first. Um, how did that get taken off? I don't know. I'm not sure how that got taken off. Okay, anyway. Um, we never really looked at ourselves in our hunter shirt, did we? Very cool looking, man. Very cool looking. I love it. Okay. Um, so, we need... Uh, do we have enough power to make our baking pan finally? No, we need 1,200. Okay, so we got the mass. We just need the power. And we are working on that. We have nothing going out except for the refrigerator. And I think we're going to keep it that way so we can get that power built up ASAP. Both of you guys are running. Let's top you off with some fuel. And we're just going to let those go full bore. Uh, you know what we could do, actually? Let's even do this. All right. And uh, it won't take long for us to get to 1,200. And then we can finally make that damn bacon pan. Well, actually, we still have to... We still have to make a few more ingots, though, too, don't we? All right. Let's see. Uh, let me check on my animals here. And we got four eggs and 50 fertilizer in there, and one egg and 50 fertilizer in there. Okay, they're okay for a little bit longer. Um, I guess we have these crops are. We have one medicinal thingamadoodle that's finished. Let's pick that, and I think all of those are still growing. So we're gonna put um, a cotton seed in here. And we need to water those guys too, so let's just do that. Oh, the ore thing's on. Let's turn this off for now too, just so we get maximum power buildup. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to make ingots. So we have three ingots that we stole from Charlie. Um, but we need a total of eight. So we're going to still have to make five ingots. Son of a bitch. Okay, so grab those, those, and those. We're going to make this doggone baking pan if it kills us. And it just might. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, did that suck un enough mass out? We still have 250, and that's what we need for this, right? Oh, okay, we just hit our power mark. What? It says 250 here. Why? What the hell, man? Why doesn't it say 250 there? I don't know. All right, let's take these out of overdrive mode. And let's turn this back on for a couple of points just to get it a little above 250. Because it's just maybe shy of of 250. Okay, now it should tell us we have enough mass. Yes, it does. Okay, good. Alright, so we'll turn that off for now. So once the ingots are done, okay, what else did we need? We need 40 zinc and 9 adhesive. So let's put these in here and we'll split that in half and then split it in half again. There's our 40 zinc. And then 9 adhesive. And then we'll finally be able to make this baking pan and make the, the best food in the game. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, while we're waiting for those, let's get our animals topped off. So they're doing well. 
Um, what do we want to do? Let's give them some potatoes and some blueberries. Alright, so I'm going to get grab, say, eight of those and eight of those. Split in half, split in half. Let's grab the eggs and the fertilizer and give them, yeah, we'll give them two waters. There you go. Uh, this chicken is now a level 3. This one is a level 10. Okay, cool. I don't know if the higher level chickens lay eggs more often or not. I'm not really sure. Uh, but there is enough there for us to make two steak and eggs. So let's grab a couple of those and make some steak and eggs here. And then we'll put the other egg in here. And let's grab the, some fertilizer in that and some more water. Uh, oh, I guess we don't need any more water. Okay, we'll split this in half. And that gets us up to 69% there. So that that's the bulk of it. And then we'll just top off with the rest of these. Okay. Crops. Crops are good. Crops are good. Let's go um, fill these guys up with snow. That is so handy. So handy, man. But we're just going to go away when winter's done. That's okay. That winter sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck that bad, but it's still a pain in the ass. I'm ready for springtime to come. All right. We'll put those in there and those in there. All right. We should be ready to do this if I didn't just suck up all my power by cooking all that food. Uh, nope. Here we go. Boom. Oh, my goodness. What um, inexpensive <laughs> picky fat. Oh, man. That is, like, so expensive. But it's expensive because it's what allows us to make the best food in the game. That's why. Not because the baggy pan itself is expensive. Or should be, or whatever. Uh, here, let's ro load this guy up. I'm going to probably repair all my weapons. They're, they're all getting pretty low. Oh, my goodness. There it is, you guys. Look at that. Use in the oven to prepare various foods. Let's put... Uh, actually, let's just eat that right now. All right, so we're going to go to equipment and pop that in place. And now, honey glazed pork. Okay. Uh, no, that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at this. So we can now make this, this dish right here. Uh, do we have 200 power still? Yes. Um, so let's grab this guy. And what else do we need? Two potatoes, two onions, and two carrots. Oh, man. This is going to be so delicious. Roast ribs. Mmm. Man. That's just amazing. Okay, so we'll make that. Now, for the chicken, the roast chicken, we basically need the same thing. We need the chicken, the two potatoes, the two onions. Uh, actually, we don't have any more onions. I have onions growing now. Oh, well, I think I do. Do I? Oh, shit. I have... Oh, man. Okay, yeah, we have two onions growing. We have to turn those right back into seeds. I've been making so many liver and onions lately that I'm low on them. Okay. That was a big milestone that we finally accomplished, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at that roast. Okay, let's put the bacon and eggs in here. Um, we'll put that down there. This can go up here. I'm going to turn this one single liver into a uh, antibiotic. Um, so we need three of those. Always good to have a few extra of those on hand. Next time we visit the cave, we're going to be we're going to actually take those with us. Got some more water here that we can do up. We have to actually be standing on the snow. All right, so we got three antibiotics. That's great. Pull these out. Look at that thing cooking up in there. Woot! That was from our moose kill. We've been sitting on that for a couple of months now, I think. All right. 
So, we finally got the most expensive baking pan in the universe made. What is the next thing we want to, to make? I'd like these climbing axes. Um, oh my god, eight more ingots? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna um, we're gonna you know try and get those from our friends again, or some of them, anyways. So we won't be making that anytime soon. You know what I think I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna probably start spending my resources on upgrades. I want to get all of my machinery. Um, well, not so much this one, but. You know, we can upgrade this to use less power, basically. Um, and we can... I don't think there's... There's no upgrades for these guys. Uh, we can still upgrade our windmills and our solar panels to produ produce more power. And I don't think... Yeah, we can't really do... Oh, those lights are off. I wonder I was generating so much electricity. Um... We can't really do anything more to upgrade these because they're already both upgraded. It reduces power efficiency, power efficiency of the grow light. So they're already up upgraded to be more efficient. So that's done. So yeah, basically add a little more power to the windmills and solar panels. Reduce the power consumption of the miner. Um, and probably the extraction speed too. Actually, you know, I probably won't do that. At least not right away because it it's a it extracts or quickly enough to keep me going um, but this will be 25 percent less power and oh I think the fridge too now that I think about it yeah we can upgrade the fridge one more time to use less power too so um, what about this oh yeah same thing here too reduces the power cost of cooking all right yeah so I'm gonna be working on that stuff over the next few days and just go out and you know keep doing the same thing looting hunting that sort of thing and um, it is it's now February very good so one more month of winter and um, I will uh, bring you guys back at some point uh, from there and we will go uh, resume so yeah this might be a little shorter episode than normal but it was an important episode because we got that doggone baking pan finished. Um, oh, okay, this is finished. Let's see, what do we get from this, man? We get 125 protein and 125 vegetables. Oh my goodness, look at that, you guys. 1.15 max health and almost one stamina. Oh, man. Hey, there's a mountain line up above. Is that the best food in the world or what? That's why the damn baking pan costs so much money. <laughs> oh, lordy. <coughs> okay. Yeah. We got a mountain lion above. Here, let's go kill the mountain lion before I let you go. Because we can. Because we can. Put all this in here. Boy, it is a freaking cold blizzard out, too. Let's just get her done. Get some more sinew. We got all of our... Um... Play more set up over there. We won't we won't be out too too terribly long in this. Just enough to kill this guy. And maybe pick up a couple of ores too. There he is right there. Okay, here we go. Oh nice shot there, old guy. There we go, got him. He's a level two. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about doing one shotgun shot, but then I decided to do two. He tagged us anyways, but that's all right. We okay. We okay. Oh, I need to make some more bandages now, too. Um, look at that. Six sinew. Beautiful. That's not bad at all. We got some iron and zinc here. Help make up for them super expensive ingots that we had to make. And we have a chest. Let's grab it too and then get that. Oh, it's a lock chest. Do I have my lock picks? Uh, I have them in the base. Wow, how lucky is that, eh? You don't always see lock chests spawn right next to your house. Let's go grab that sucker. Uh, I think I put the lock picks in here, yeah. Yeah, let's go grab that, man. Awesome. Alright, 
Where is that at? Right here. Beautiful. Hey, speaking of lock chests, I actually have... Oh, uh, nice. No ingots, but we got three plates, so that's pretty good. Some adhesive. Yeah, not, not too bad. Not the best one in the world, but not too bad. Uh, anyway, uh, I did grab a few more off-camera lock crates and forgot to show you the clip. So here, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say goodbye to you, and then I'll play the clips from those other lock crates that we got and bid you all farewell. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And quite possibly the next time I see you, it will be springtime or at least very end of February. We'll see how things go, though. If, if I have a good reason to bring it back before then, I will do that. All right, guys. Uh, enjoy the other locked crate clips, and we'll see you next time we see you. Bye-bye.